Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy and beautiful herringbone cowl. It's a very, very easy project. It's worked in spiral rounds and it's one stitch you will repeat all the way around until you reach your desired height. It's such a beautiful stitch and it's so easy to do. It's great for beginners and it's a really fast project. We'll be using chunky yarn and a big hook and it's very very easy to do and now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful stitch. Today I am using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and I am using the Kinko Timeless Chunky Yarn. It's a beautiful yarn to work with. It's very soft. You need two skeins of that and this color is rosé bud and this is a 90% uh, premium acryl uh, yarn and 10% apaca yarn and with this yarn I will be using the King Cole Cosmos. It's not really a yarn but it's like a strength with glitter and I love it. Normal glitter yarn is very awesome to work with but if you really want it glittery I would suggest to get one of those and like you can see it makes a beautiful effect to the scarf. Of course you can do it without. They have those in different colors. Here is a darker one and I will put a link down below where you can get this beautiful yarn. But of course you can use any yarn you want. And now let's get started. We start with a slip knot. And for my scarf today, I will make a chain of 60. It doesn't have to be a multiple of two or anything. You just crochet your desired length for your scarf. But today I am using 60 chains for my scarf. So just grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn, pull through. And you will re repeat this until you have 60 chains. finished your chain just go along the chain with your finger and make sure your chain is not twisted and now insert your hook into the first stitch grab your yarn and make a slip stitch so just grab your yarn pull up you have two loops on your hook and now go through and make a slip stitch and this is how you connect your chains now we will start with our next row you will make a chain of two one and two into the first stitch right here you will yarn over insert your hook into the stitch grab your yarn and pull up for the normal half double crochet, you will grab your yarn and go through all three loops. For this stitch, you just you have three loops on your hook. Now go with your hook through the second loop. And now grab your yarn and go through two. I will show you again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Grab your yarn, pull up, turn your needle, go through the second loop and now grab your yarn and go through the two loops on your hook. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Grab your yarn, pull up and now you have three loops on your hook. And now turn your needle, go through your second loop and now grab your yarn and go through two. And you will repeat this in each stitch. I show you one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, three loops on your hook and now turn your hook go through the second loop you have two loops on your hook now and now grab your yarn and go through the two loops and you will repeat this all the way around 
I repeated the stitch all the way around and now I'm in my last stitch. For this scarf here, we will work in spiral uh, rounds. Means we are not gonna make a slip stitch or anything. You just continue doing the herringbone half double crochet all the way around. So it's very, very easy. Like I said, you don't have to watch out where your row ends. You just repeat doing the stitch in every stitch. Uh, we have here our chain two from the beginning. Here's our first half double crochet. And you will yarn over, insert your hook into the first half double crochet. Grab your yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook. And now again, through the second loop, grab your yarn and pull through. And now you will repeat this in spiral rounds until you reach your desired height for your scarf. You see, it's very easy to do. Now all you have to do is crochet in rounds until you reach your desired height. And I will see you back in just a moment. I repeated the row for a total of 25 rows and this is how it looks like. For me, it's the perfect height. Of course, you can make it smaller or taller. It depends on you, but I have my desired height. I will show you like that. You see, it's just a beautiful stitch and a beautiful cow or scarf and very, very easy to do. And now what I did, here is our beginning from our yarn. This is here. And I just made sure that I'm roughly about the same over here to finish off. And all we're going to do to finish off is insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn and make a slip stitch. Then make a chain of one, pull tight. Now grab your scissors and cut the yarn. Take your hook, pull through and pull tight. And now all we have to do is sew in both of those ends and we are done. Finish sewing in all my ends and we are done. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this beautiful and easy herringbone cowl with me. You see, it's such a beautiful stitch and such a fun project. If you like this tutorial, leave me a thumbs up. I would love to see your pictures and I'm always happy to get all your messages. You can also find me on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.